If you're watching these videos, you're probably familiar with Turbo Intruder. And if you're not, Turbo Intruder is an extension developed by James Kettle that allows us to send requests faster than we can with Intruder because it has a custom request engine. And also it lets us define more versatile attacks in Intruder because we can use a Python interface to actually construct our attack. Now, in this case, I actually don't have vanilla Turbo Intruder installed. I use an extended version of that extension that we'll explore in more detail in a future video. It's called Haptic. Now, to install Haptic, uh, because it's not available in the Burt Bap store, you'll have to download it from its GitHub repo and import the jar file. Uh, but very similar to standard Turbo Intruder, if I right click in request here, and you'll see that the request I have is just the login request to Juice Shop. If you right click in there and go to extensions, you'll see that we can send this request to Turbo Intruder. Of course, in this case, we have Turbo Intruder with Haptic. So I'm going to send that to Turbo Intruder. And uh, as I mentioned, we'll look at the Haptic features in a future video. In this one, we'll just look at base Turbo Intruder, how it works, how to set up a very simple attacks. So at the very top here in this top pane, you'll see that we have our request. And in the bottom pane, we have our Python interface that's going to allow us to define what payloads we're going to be sending to the application and also uh, the logic that's going to determine what responses we're going to grab out of that. Because as I mentioned, this tool lets us send many, many requests very quickly. And so you're not going to be able to, with you know many different types of attacks that you might want to run, go through all of the responses, right? Just with Intruder, we want some way to be able to filter what is interesting. And in this case, Turbo Intruder uh, gives us a mechanism to determine what responses get flagged as worth looking at. And so everything that isn't included in that is not included in the final results table. So let's step through the components of this. We have two required functions. One is Q requests, the other is handle response. Um, within Q requests, this is where we set up our attack, and handle response, of course, is where we set up the logic to determine what responses are going to be flagged for inclusion into our results table. There are different components in setting up our attack. I'm not gonna go into uh, deep detail for each of these in this video. I'll cover these independently in future videos. Uh, but first we have our request engine that we need to define that's going to largely control the speed of our attack. And then we define our payloads. In this case, it's split into two sections where in the first section, we're actually defining payloads to specifically train the um, response handler here, which is set to identify interesting responses. We'll explore that later. And then secondarily, we actually have our payloads, which are de derived from a word list here. The only thing that we're missing in our request here for this attack is some payload position. So in this case with Turbo Intruder, we use the percent uh, %s to indicate our injection point, and that should be enough. If I click attack, our attack should run, and you'll see that um, we are sending these payloads, and we are only seeing the interesting responses, which actually there are quite a number of interesting responses in this case from this word list. The reason being we're attacking the login of Juice Shop, and a lot of these payloads include single quotes, which um, causes essentially a SQL injection condition. So uh, Turbo Intruder, has identified these SQL error responses as being unique, and that's why it's showing those to us. If you look at the bottom uh, of this window here, you'll see that Turbo Intruder also gives us a number of metrics relating to the attack. It shows us the number of requests that have uh, been launched, it shows us the duration, uh, and the really importantly, the request per second, which we may want to uh, observe in order to fine tune our attack with some of the parameters that Turbo Intruder exposes to us. We can halt this attack and then we can click configure again to return to this screen here to make modifications to our attack as needed. So in subsequent videos, we're going to explore the different features that we can use within Turbo Intruder and in particular, the uh, extended capabilities that are provided to us by Haptic.